superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and I'm coming to you with a message which has definitely been inspired by the work that I'm personally doing on myself and also, also the work that I'm doing with my beautiful coaching clients and the Limitless Potential Academy Limitless Potential Seekers um, in the masterclasses. We've been doing some deep dives around this incredible framework, uh, which I wanna introduce a little bit to you guys um, today. But ultimately, what I wanna get to and share with you guys today is I wanna share with you, really, we're talking all things blind spots. So drop me a comment and let me know where in the world you're tuning in from, let me know um, if you know, if you've had any experience with discovering your blind spots. Maybe somebody in your life has rudely awoken you to something that you weren't aware of. Um, whatever's happened for you. But ultimately, what I want to talk to you guys about today is the fact that your freedom and fulfillment lays within your observation of your blind spots, right? But how the hell do we discover what our blind spots are if we're unconscious to them, right? If we're blind to them, how do we discover them? And that's what I wanna dive into and unpack with you guys today. And I'm really, really, really excited about this work. And the reason why is because I personally have had some of my biggest growth curves just recently as I've been diving deep into this work. And it's, I, I feel really, really grateful because the work that I do, because I'm such a learner, you know, I'm a student and a teacher always. And, uh, and what I end up doing, um, which I'm super grateful for, is whatever I'm totally fascinated with in my life, in personal development, in, you know, all things human behavior, human potential, human fulfillment, so that I can make sure that I am living my best life. Anything that fascinates me and that I'm finding really valuable, I get to study it and deep dive into it and then systemize it and simplify it and deliver it to you beautiful human beings. So I'm really, really grateful um, for that opportunity to do what I love and love what I do and get to share what I believe to be the stuff that we should be focused on in our lives. I get to share it with you beautiful human beings in the hope that it fast tracks your success and hopefully you can speak properly without me having to give you any, I don't, I shouldn't be teaching you how to speak properly, obviously, in, in those few words. But at the end of the day, this is the work that I love to do. And I'm talking into um, an amazing model, which has been around for thousands and thousands of years, but kind of got forgotten. It kind of got lost, um, you know, along, along the tracks of life. And back from uh, probably around the 60s, um, some people, you know, some psychotherapists and psychologists and all sorts of things were starting to rediscover the value of a system named the Enneagram. Now you might be familiar with it, you may not. Most people I talk to have never even heard of it. They're like the Ennea what? And I want you to like have this word as your, you know, just top of mind in your life as you grow and develop to reach your highest potential. And the reason why I love it is because it solves the problem that we're talking about today, which is how do we observe what we're blind to? And if our freedom and fulfillment lays in our observation of what we're blind to, you know, we want to figure out how the hell we wake up to that. And it kind of starts with, the fact, you know, this this thing about the human condition is that we're asleep to ourselves and we don't even know it. You know, we have these habitual behaviors uh, and these patterns that we run that we have no idea, we're totally unconscious to, and we don't understand and we don't realize the impact and the influence that these unconscious behaviors are having on our everyday lives, our results, our health, our relationships, our bank account, our fulfillment. You know, we're unaware of it, you know? And so when we're not aware of it, how do we shift it? How do we change it? We just think we, we just lose ourselves. You know, we end up feeling like we're just sabotaging our success. We end up feeling like it's this other person. They should change so that I can be happy. You know, we end up projecting onto our external environment um, and not getting very far, right? And what we can do with the help of different modalities that I'm gonna introduce you to today and what I've been deep diving into in our masterclasses, and I've got another masterclass deep dive coming up 
this coming Monday Aussie time or Sunday for you guys in the States. And I am, I'm hoping that what I share with you guys today sparks your interest enough to give the masterclasses a go. Um, and m let me just promise you that if you deep dive into a system that shines light on your blind spots, you will forever be free and fulfilled because you actually have control over who you are and why you do what you do and the direction of your life. You get to design it rather than default into something less fulfilling and get to the end of your life feeling filled with regret um, instead of designing your life and consciously living into your best life possible, right? But you can only do that when you understand your internal world, when you know what's really going on. So you're at choice point, you know, you're not left to the hands of your unconscious fears, insecurities, and unchecked patterns. So the Enneagram, this ancient tool that, like I said, has been around for thousands of years, it, it, what it does is it breaks society and human behavior into these nine different categories of personality. And actually, it goes way deeper than this. It goes super exciting, which I'm really excited about diving into. On Monday, it gets really, really deep goes into these 27 different breakdowns of you as an individual and those different blind spots and those different strengths and greatness that you have to step into as well. But ultimately, if we start with the bigger picture, breaks it down into these nine different personality types. We've got number one, we've got the reformer. Number two, we've got the helper. Number three, we've got the achiever. Number four, we've got the individualist. Number five, we've got the investigator. Number six, we've got the loyalist. Number seven, we've got the enthusiast. And number eight, we've got the challenger. And number nine, we've got the peacemaker. All right, so they're these broad categories of our personalities, which is just patterns of behavior, right? Patterns of our behavior based on our psyche. And it is crazy how on point this stuff is. And basically, each of these different nine uh, personality types have this kind of lens or filter that they're perceiving the world through, you know, and they're operating from. And what happens is, you know, we as human beings, we can't take everything in at once, but we can use our filter to be guided through the world. But what happens with a filter is, you know, it's got blinkers, like we, we've got these blind spots that we're totally unconscious to and they keep tripping us up. And what I love about the Enneagram is that it gives you access to stuff you would never otherwise know. You can't know your own blind spots without some external reflection helping you, whether that is Sometimes it's your partner, right? Sometimes it's a family member, a friend, uh, somebody who's, you know, got the courage to, you know, be that walking reality check for you. Or maybe it's a coach. That's what coaches are for, right? Uh, maybe it is a psychologist, you know, maybe it's somebody who's got some form of expertise who can help help you identify what your blind spots are and free you towards fulfillment. But what I love is that the Enneagram is accessible to everybody, right? And you can, if you've got the courage, you can face your deepest fears, right? And when you face your deepest fears, when you shine light on what's blind to you, what you're not aware of, and it doesn't feel comfortable, it's not for the faint hearted, but it's your ticket to freedom and fulfillment, like you want to buy those tickets, right? And um getting access to these different, to identify which of these categories, which of these nine different categories and beyond that we'll get to. And in, in, if you join me in the masterclasses, you'll learn all about that. You know, what, which of those resonate with you? Which of them are determined by you? And basically, each of them have these particular blind spots that if left unchecked are tripping them up. So personally, I am... Uh, always typed out whenever I've been studying the Enneagram for about six or so years now, but over the last year has been when I've really gone into it. I've been ready to face it, right? And previously, I'd always typed out as this completely different type. Number seven, the enthusiast, right? And I liked that one. It's juicy. It's really positive. It's always focused on the good. It's energetic. It's fun. And my, um, in a bit like now what I found is I'm actually not a seven. I'm actually the three, which is the achiever. And what happens with the achiever is that ultimately the achiever just wants to be whatever is the best, right? It's a shapeshifter. It's the chameleon. And so it's taken me up until this point to actually realize 
I'm actually not a seven. I've just perceived unconsciously that the type seven way of being is the best. So I just want to be that because I'm the achiever. All right. And when I, I never got much value from studying the Enneagram, kind of was like, oh yeah, that's kind of interesting. But the reason was because I wasn't typed correctly. And when I really had the courage to face this and be totally brutally honest with myself, I realized I'm the achiever, I'm that shapeshifter. And with that knowledge and acceptance comes some serious blind spots that I was totally unaware of. And I'm still actually in the midst of actually discovering and diving even deeper into this stuff. Um, a big one for me is that I'm always on the go, right? Like I'm working, working, working. Some might call me a bit of a workaholic. Um, and you know, in our society, that's kind of said, that's kind of applauded, right? And so, you know, it's kind of easy for the three, the achiever to just keep going, going, going. But what's really underneath that, what's the driving motivation for that, it's not an easy pill to swallow, right? People of this type, of my type, the achiever, I'm just using me as an example with this framework, you know, believe, have this unconscious belief that they're not lovable for anything but what they do, for the value that they add. And if they're not doing, if they're not adding value, then they're not worthy of love, right? They don't get love for being just who they are simply. And so because of that, the three is always unconsciously trying to do, kind of trying to add value, trying to mold itself to be the best of what it can perceive to be the best. And at the same time, you know, from that place, you know, generating love and connection from a place where you're trying to add that value and be that certain thing that's best, you're actually, you know, reinforcing to that deeper part of you that you're not lovable just for who you are. So the, a big piece of the work that I've been doing just recently is actually just working on being, you know, just just being without doing. And I tell you, it is a struggle for the type three, the achiever, because we've built our self-worth based on the, what, the things that we do rather than who we are at that deepest core. And most threes don't even know who they are, right? Because they've just molded and, you know, become that chameleon and just showed up as whatever they perceive um, is the best and will get them the love that they truly seek and desire, which we all do. Um, but ultimately, it is not a fulfilling path and it's why I do the work that I do. There's no, it's no coincidence that the work that I do is predominantly focused on helping people discover who they really are, what they really want and having the courage and the confidence to go after it, right? Uh, to work on authenticity is the key because the three doesn't know throughout their lives before they discover self-development and this kind of framework, they don't know who they are outside of who they're trying to be for others, right? So this is a huge thing. Um, and each of the nine types has their own different category. You know, for the twos, they're phenomenal. Like most women you'll find are twos. About 20% of the population of women are actually twos. That's the helper. And the helper is always giving, 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 right? Very looks on the outside, looks very loving, looks very giving, looks very self-sacrificing, always, you know, putting themselves out for others. But the blind spot is that they're giving to get when they're unconscious of these patterns, right? And so it ends up in resentment. They give, but then it ends up in resentment because they're not receiving that which they're not communicating about, but they're giving to the other person. That sounds super complicated. I promise I simplify it for you guys in these masterclasses. But at the end of the day, you know, we have to look at our behavior. At all of these nine types, what they're doing is they're a strategy to get love, right? They're a strategy to, you know, be approved of, get love, get acceptance, get approval for who they really are, right? At the end of the day. Um, but what happens is when we're unconscious of the pattern, it has kind of an ulterior motive that has like a shadow side. It has a dark side that we don't always want to see those blind spots, but it's only when we face and focus on those blind spots. Like for me, for instance, as that three, who has a fear that, you know, I'm not going to be lovable just for me. You know, I'm lovable based on what I do and what value I add, right? Um, if I just walk around with that perception, I'm going to be an empty shell of a person, 
You know, I'm going to live my life um, trying to be of value, but never appreciating who I am and then getting reinforcement from the external world that I'm just lovable for what I do because that's all I'm showing to people. And so, you know, over this last um, month or so in particular, I've tried to do l tried to do less and get more into being and I've been doing that. It's not been easy and I've been having to focus and, and really flesh out my blind spots and this darker side of my personality type so that ultimately I can get free and I can get fulfilled and start designing my life in a, in a better direction. And so anyway, there's nine of them. We go super deep. We just did the first of, the, of a three-part series on the Enneagram. Uh, so the first masterclass, if you do join us, you can get instant access to it. I highly recommend you dive into this work uh, so that you can identify which of these nine types you are and really what comes with that. You know, what are those greatest strengths that you offer? But also mainly, I like to focus on what are those blind spots so that we can get you on the right growth curve. Because on Monday, we're going to be doing a deep dive into this, this really granular deep dive. So once you've identified which of the nine categories is you, you know, then we go deep into your particular type and we really flesh that out for you. So you can get the most self-awareness you've ever accessed in your life. And then in our final third part of the series, we're going to actually be putting you on your own unique growth path, which is second to none in terms of, you know, uncovering the correct pathway for you as an individual to access your highest leveraged uh, way of living your life to access fulfillment, your freedom, um, everything so that ultimately the ultimate game is always so that you get to the end of your life feeling truly fulfilled, like you squeeze the juice out of life. You, nef you left no stone unturned. You're fulfilled in your relationships, in your health, in your bank account, in your career path. You're feeling a sense of true personal progress and ultimately a meaningful contribu contribution to the people that you love and care about. And that's what life is about. So this is just one framework but honestly, it is one of the absolute best and I can't wait to help you to fast track your success. So you can join with the link above and any of you guys who are already in the masterclasses, um, I cannot wait to see you guys on Monday or Sunday for a lot of you guys. And um, if you can't make it live to the training, which I hope you can, because we get to meet and connect and you can ask me any questions and we can get to deep dive um, into all that juicy work. Um, but if you can't join live, the recording is always up very, very shortly after we finish and you get time to really dive deep into it and then decide if you'd like to get some coaching with um, our group coaching team as well, which is phenomenal for all of you guys who are looking to reach your potential. So I would love, love, love to check in with you guys. I hope that this message has resonated with you and it gets you thinking about what your blind spots are. And if you want my personal help and guidance with discovering those blind spots, then I really encourage you to join us in the Limitless Potential um, Academy in the monthly masterclasses. Links up above and you can join there. And there's also a new freebie on my website. So you can click that link, um, sign up for, um, there's a three-part video series on unpacking the neuroscience of your personality. Super powerful, um, but I definitely want to see you guys in the masterclasses. But let me check in with you guys, say hi, let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. Always love to get to connect with you guys. I've got Corey and Gary and Jamie and Samuel and Phil and Yabez and Joe and AJ. Joe, great to catch you again. Always great to catch you, my friend. Great to have you here. And uh, Dean, you're a legend. Love having you here. And Ty's here and Elf and Bobby and uh, Drew and Brum and Del. Awesome to see each and every one of you guys. Um, really, really hope that today's message has resonated, added value to you. Um, apart from, you know, that's come from a good place, not just me trying to add value and you know, I'm doing a lot of work around that. So I'm doing some being at the same time as adding value. And that's the thing, you know, our behavior on the external can look, you know, can look good, 
but we want to know what's driving it. What are the internal motivations? Because those internal motivations are going to make the difference between you being a truly fulfilled and vibrant, filled up human being, or kind of an empty shell of a human being where nothing's ever good enough and you just never feel like you're making any traction or getting anywhere. And uh, that is an empty existence which none of us want to live. So encourage you to join us. And Michael is from the Gold Coast in Australia. I love that, Michael. I'm actually just about to move up to beautiful, sunny Noosa up in Queensland. So can't wait to do that. I'm here in Melbourne at the moment, but thanks for tuning in, Michael. I love it. And um, as always, guys, I'm sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing and extraordinary and that you're doing something super empowering. And today's message has definitely served you. Um, I cannot wait to see you guys soon. So I'm signing off. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for joining me live. Always appreciate it when you can. And if you're catching the recording, always drop me a comment. I'll get back to you guys. And um, I hope to see you in the masterclasses. And if this message has been valuable, please do share it always. That is such a gift that you guys can give to me. So much love for each and every one of you guys. And I'll see you soon.